This video will show you how to set up your Apex and your resources, your farms, and your fields. Simply open the program. From the home screens, click on Setup in the top menu bar. And basically what we want to do is follow all these items on the left-hand side the first time that we use Apex. This will make sure that it is the easiest way to use and on your screens and your equipment you will have the right choices instead of a long list of available options. First thing we want to do is our client. Everything is sorted in the Green Star system by client, farm and a field. Our client is usually just our overall name. So here we have Maple or Maple Farm Equipment. To add a client, simply on the right hand side click New and then add new client name. And we can click Add to List or we can click Done. We'll click Add to List and then this would allow us to add new cl more clients. We're going to click Done. Now you can see that we have three clients. If you ever want to retire something or delete it from your list, you simply click it and then hit retire on the right hand side. Next we go to farm and these are our farm names. Typically we have one client name with a bunch of different farm names depending on whether or not any custom work needs to be done or how you want to sort your data. Again if we want to create a new farm we hit new First, we have to select a client it belongs to because we have two clients. So we're going to pick Maple Farm Equipment and we're going to call this Home Farm. We're going to click Done. You can also put more information if you like. This would just show up on your reports later when you're seeing map reports. Again, we can click on one of them and hit Retire if we want to delete it. Next are our fields. You can see that the, we have two fields in here. They both belong to this farm name and this client. We're going to create a new field and we're going to now pick an existing farm. So we're going to pick home farm and the client is Maple Farm Equipment and name. If we want to put the legal in here we can. If we want to put the area we can, anything else you want to put in here and hit done. Now we have home quarter in the farm, home farm and client maple farm equipment. The next thing that you want to set up is your crops. Apex gives you a whole list of crops that come as a default in the system. You would have to go through all of these and select them all and retire them. You can see that in the top right corner here I have include retired items in list. I can simply unselect that and you can see the crops that I have here that are active. So it says retired no. So again if I want to unretire something or check or uh, bring it out of the deleted status, the retired status, I simply click on this. For example, alfalfa, I would click it and then I can either click unretire here or I can double click alfalfa and uncheck this box. If I want to change any specifics on a crop, I can double click it, change the payable moisture and the weight. Preferred unit, however you want to do it. and then click update. Variety is the same thing as crops. There are a whole list of items in varieties. If I select my, or my retired list again, you'll see that there is quite a lengthy list of varieties that I have already retired. Again, I unselect that and these are my active varieties that will be I can choose then in my vehicle. Simply to create a new variety, I hit new. I select the crop. It gives me a selection of different uh, chemo or pardon me, different makers of the particular 
and it will search the internet for any sort of varieties that are canola pioneer hybrid and I can pick whichever one I want and I can then add to this list or I can click select custom chemicals the same thing you can see that there are a lot of chemicals in my list you can go through select all of these retire them all or select all of them and then just pick the ones that you want to not retire the next group is our resources and we have our machine list this is also a long list of machines that you would want to possibly uh, retire so what we can do here is we can hit select all and I can un uh, deselect the ones that I want to keep anything with a blue uh, icon here has uh, default settings in it so it has all the offsets set to it I can just simply go through this list select all the ones that I want to keep and then I hit retire for all the other ones now I have this list so if I want to double check my offsets on a 9510R I can just highlight over it it will give me this little pop-up window or I can double click it and it'll give me the tractor the serial number which is X's but it, which it will find when you plug in your GS3 into this tractor as well as the current offsets turn radius and turn sensitivity you don't need to worry about but offsets are crucial for where uh, if you're doing any sort of sectional control with your fertilizer once I change all these I just hit update and those are then saved same thing for the implement we have a whole selection of implements here I can go ahead and select all again and then just deselect the ones that I want to keep and I hit retire if I want to change the settings on anything again this is my cedar that I have named Borgo and then here are my dimensions for the offset so a offset is from the drawbar to the front of the implement and I've said this is 12 feet B is the length uh, sorry the depth of the implement which I have said is 9 feet and D is a combination of those two to the connection point again I just select update as soon as I'm done here operator is the last thing you can do you can select this and then put a name there and that way when you are recording this uh, applications you can have the person select their name and they will you'll be able to track what they did on the maps another big one under miscellaneous here is flags we can uh, make sure that uh, whatever we want to flag is on this list when we pick a new flag we just name it and we hit done if you want to track where your loads go you can also name those load names and load destinations once you have done this you have your apex set up and ready to go